The Music Theory and Musicianship Class at Excellence in Education There once was a time when the only source of music was a person singing or playing an instrument, and the only way to record music was to write it down so somebody could read it. Great emphasis was put on playing music from the page. All well-bred young ladies were expected to do it. Indeed, one tenet of old-school music pedagogy is that the student be prohibited from playing music without reading it from a score. Prohibiting children from playing anything but what is read from the page is very like preventing an infant from talking until he, she, can read. Musical and verbal ability can progress side by side, as soon as the child can hear words or notes. The EIE Music Theory class helps children of all ages to understand the music that already inspires and fascinates them and introduces them to the music of other places and times so that they can discover their own sources of creativity. The pushing of keys on a keyboard exactly as directed by notes on a page is a very complex but very mechanical process and is not particularly creative, though performing musicians rely heavily on perpetuating the myth that it is. It is something that computers do superbly, but is certainly not something that a child should be made to do, any more than children should be made to copy pages of manuscript or work the bellows of an organ. The days of the menial scribe and bellows boy are fortunately far behind us. Standard traditional music pedagogy should have joined them, but has somehow remained dominant long after it has lost all relevance. Students in the EIE theory class can often play tunes they know but have never played before, by ear, sight unseen, within a few months or even weeks. Within a year, they can play and harmonize using both hands on the keyboard most common folk melodies or popular songs. But far more importantly, they can play the music in their own heads, can improvise never-before-heard music and render it fully. Later, advanced study may perfectly well include writing and reading in standard music notation. Though many in pop, rock, country, etc. never resort to the musical staff nor feel a need to. Indeed, had Paul McCartney and Elvis Presley heeded the disparagement of their music teachers, we might never have heard of them. The instructor of the theory and musicianship class does hold an advanced degree in music, but as many homeschoolers have done, has found that the traditional quotidian approach can be improved upon immensely. The class includes a good deal of watching and listening to videos and recordings and playing music with others. Students with different levels of skill can work together in multiple ways. More advanced students will certainly study musical notation, arranging and composition. For more information about the class, please visit the class page.